Hey guys, the FM Gaffer here, and welcome to episode 26 of my Wigan Warriors save here on the FM16 beta. Now, today we um, are have a game against MK Dons, because it was going to be against Sheffield Wednesday, but then I forgot and just played through that, and I played through one more game against Bolton. So, um, yeah, we have um, MK Dons instead today, which I think is, yeah, just as good. So, transfers that have happened but, uh, since you last joined us, so these six transfers, so more... Fernandez, Holland and Suljic have gone out on loan. I was planning to keep Holland, but we got a backup keeper in, so um, we don't need him at the first team anymore. So we've loaned him out to Bradford Park Avenue, which I think play in the sixth division, or they do currently. This is quite a bit into the game, so they might not anymore. So they yeah, they now um, they now play in the conference. So yeah, they won the they won the Vanarama North North last year. So go out. He has gone out to Latina for six million pounds, and no way did I want to sell him for that cheap. I would have gone up to ten million easily, but he had a release clause, and there's nothing I could do about it. They bid six million, and they took him away, and he was get he was unhappy. He did ask to leave anyway, um, so yeah, he's gone out for six million pounds. But I think I've got a good replacement. So Mergia, well, no, Mergia basically is the replacement because. Uh, I think you guys knew about him last time. So yeah, Merger has sort of come into his role um, and done very well, to be honest. And he's he's still got potential to be even better. Um, and yeah, I, I was quite happy to do that trade. So we paid six hundred seventy-five quid, uh, six hundred seventy-five k, sorry, for Merger. And we bought in six million by selling Gomal. I'm pretty happy with that deal. Um, Gomal was very good for us, and I would have liked to keep, keep him. But you know, we've got Merger and we've got Lansbury, and we're quite good in that position. So yeah, we we also brought in Dilrison. Now he is a he can play right wing, left wing, or up front. But he's been playing right wing recently for me mostly. And again, he's another guy with just such great potential. Twenty years old, Dutch, signing from Man City for five hundred k. I think that's a very good deal. And um, he's going to be one for the future. I've been playing him recently. He scored a few goals actually. And this is our new backup keeper, Daniel Bachmann. He's just quite solid for a keeper. Twenty four years old, Austrian. Signed him from, uh, he used to be at Stoke and he had some loan spells in Sky Bet League 1. He's just going to be a solid backup. I literally signed him so Sam Holland could go on loan. That was literally it because um, I think Holland's football will be better developed. He's he's really, he's developed very well. And someone I just want to show you how much they've developed. This guy, Hamza Chowdhury. He is, oh, he had so many more green arrows earlier. But like, yeah, he's improved so much as a player. We just highlight his best attributes with this. Okay. Why isn't it highlighting it? <laughs> Um, highlight key attributes for all. Okay, there you go. So tackling thirteen, work rate sixteen, determination fifteen, bravery's gone up, aggression's there, strength and stamina have both gone up. Stamina I think was around fifteen before, and strength has gone up. And yeah, he's just gone up in all round areas, which are always good. Like for example, pace is always good, even for a centre back. Vision's always good. Uh, sorry, for a centre mid. Um, vision's always good. Especially, yeah, for especially for a centre mid, though maybe not for a ball winning midfielder. Off the ball's always good, and yeah, marking's gone up, position's gone up, acceleration is decent. So um, he has really improved and come on a long way. He's now three and a half star. So technically, if you don't count the black star, he's reached his potential. He's only 21, so hopefully he still has more to grow. And yeah, he has been a fantastic player. So let's see what's been happening since that opening day draw with Birmingham. So we lost in the Capital One Cup to Fleetwood. We played a completely changed side, as you can see here. We played everyone that... Yeah, we just played the complete football rotation that you could play. And in the end, we lost the match. I was quite happy to lose. I wasn't that bothered. Hennen got them their goal. Um, but yeah, then we moved on and we beat Reading 3-0 in the second game of the champion, uh, championship season. Lewis Graben grabbing two. Henry Lansbury uh, grabbing the third. And Shibolo got sent off late on. Chowdhury picked up a little bit of an injury for this. But um, I think he was back next match, maybe. Or, okay, maybe the match after. But yeah, I think he was fine. I think it was like a three to four day injury or something like that. We then lost to Wigan really disappointingly. Landry gave us the lead in this one. Jack Stevens equalised it up. And Andre Gray got a 92nd minute winner. That hurt. It was so annoying because I sort of did go for it in a bit because we did dominate the game. And, um, yeah, we got punished. But that was fine. We moved on. Four days later, we got a really, really hard 4-1-0 win against Ipswich. Lewis Graben getting the only goal of the game. Then our last victory, uh, sorry, our last non-victory against Cardiff, they played, they outplayed us in this game. Fair play to them. Be Beregard and Ryan Fraser getting their goals, and we just couldn't, we couldn't get back. But um, yeah, we did bounce back. Two weeks later, when we played West Brom, Yavaro Dilrosson, as I told you, getting both the goals, and yeah, 
he has been a revelation, well, especially in that match, and yeah, he did really well. He scored again in this match. He scored the winner, actually, now that I look at it. Um, McCann gave us a lead against Leeds away. Cerevolo equalised, so it was 1-0 at half-time. Dembele then put us back in front. Uh, Dilverson then made it 3-1. Cerevolo pulled one back. We managed to hold on for the win. Then got a 2-0 win against Sheffield Wednesday. Omar, I paid him for this match, like, completely out of the blue, because all our strikers were, like, 90% or lower. And, um... Uh, other than him, obviously, and yeah, he p he picked up a goal, and he actually, I think he was, he did a, I think he got like the second assist for Scott Sinclair's goal, so he didn't actually directly assist it, but he passed it to the guy that passed it to Sinclair, and um, yeah, we won that match 2-0, Omar like surprising me how well he did, and yeah, I was I was probably I was looking, yeah, I think I took him off for grabbing quite quite early on, just because you know he was very young and he's he's still, I think he's still in the grey stars, I think he's five grey stars. So, um, yeah, I thought it was going to be a mistake maybe picking him, but I did. I showed faith in the youth, and against Sheffield Wednesday, who are meant to be the fifth best side in the league this year, we beat them 2-0. We then got another 2-0 victory, this time against Bolton Wanderers. Kostias Pilias, the, uh, I gave him a centre-back spot this match, and Scott Sinclair getting the goals, and yeah, I'm just quite happy with that. Beat Bolton, we were quite, we we're quite solid, and uh, yeah, we're currently sitting second in the championship. Uh, two points behind Forest, two points ahead of Cardiff, and we are really on for automatic promotion. But I said that last year, and look what happened. So yeah, we're not we're not taking any um, chances this year. So this is going to be my team today. We've got Lewis Vickengold, we've got Dar Darnell, Darnell Furlong. I always say Daryl, Darnell Furlong at right back. Jack Hendry and Jason Pierce at centre backs. Reese James on the left. Chowdhury, Lansbury, and Dembele across the midfield. Ryan Hedges on the right, Scott Sinclair on the left, and Tumor up front. Tumor has done really well in the complete four role. That's actually his best role. It just didn't say that because for some reason complete four is always the bottom of the list when when you click on the player. I, I, I don't know why. When, yeah, I think when you put, click here. Or, no, it's not that. But at some point, it's always bottom of the list, even though it was the best, when it's usually not. And, um, yeah, I know that didn't make it much sense, but, yeah, um, Tumor... Has fit in really well there, and Grabman's been low on fitness quite a lot. He's picked up a few um, very minor knocks, and yeah, so um, we've had to rely on Tuma. And Heyman's has done well when he's came in. He's only played one substitute appearance so far, but yeah, Heyman's. I'm really excited when we get this guy fit because he's so good for an 18 year old. I would absolutely love to sign him. And I've just remembered I actually didn't miss out one piece of business. So we've actually signed Dan Crowley, but we signed him after the deadline. So he's come in in January. Um, 275k fee, 500,000 over 12 months, and 500,000 after 30 league appearances. So yeah, 20% of the next sale as well. So we didn't want to, we didn't want to do it over 48 months because I don't want to affect my future budgets. So that was probably a mistake I made in the first season and the second season and the first season. But um, yeah, Crowley, great potential. He's not, it's not going to work out for him at uh, Arsenal. And uh, yeah, he's just central midfielder. Obviously, when Goma went out, I wanted to get him in. Um, and yeah, I couldn't do it before January, but I think we'll survive until January, and then he will add a really good impetus. He's been on loan at Championship and League One sides, and yeah, he's ready to move permanently, and we're going to be the guys that are going to snap him up and um, yeah, turn him into a great player. He, but he plays advanced playmaker best, which is obviously one of our roles, which is all good. So I guess we should get into the game. So I'm going to submit this team playing MK Dons today. MK Dons currently sitting 16th in the table. After nine games, we're sitting second, so we should be favourites. We are favourites um, by the bookies tag. Who are Forest playing? They're not playing. They might have played earlier, possibly. Um, if I just look at matches, so okay, they're not playing today. Okay, they're playing tomorrow as it's a Tuesday night game. So yeah, we're hopefully we can t uh, go to the top of the table before they play tomorrow. So go out there and carry on straight off from when you finished last match. That didn't I didn't say that in the right order, but yeah, we'll do some assertive. if I have faiths. And we'll get into the game. So, Tumor and Trowdery kick off. And, uh, yeah, let's get our third win in three games. And um, s uh, rise to the top of the Skybet Championship table. I'm really looking forward to us, um, yeah, hopefully winning the league this season. If not, promotion is a must. Well, not a must, but it would. Be, I would like to do that. I would expect us to do that at this point. We've got a very good squad. And I think we're capable. And Martin plays that. Pierce wins the header really well. And he's found Ch Chowdhury. He finds his Hedges first time. Ryan Hedges. He's gone back a bit. He plays into Chowdhury. And that's a misplaced pass. And Rizzulu. Hendry, what a challenge. Lewington back to Martin now in the uh, MK Don's goal. What will he do? He puts it down and he kicks it long. 
Dembele wins that header. Yes, Hedges. Into lands. Oh, Aguza clears, but only as far as Darnell Furlong. Chowdhury now. Hedges. Furlong. Henry Lansbury. Lansbury up to Hedges. Will he whip it in? He does Sinclair at the back post. He has been in hot scoring form recently, Scott Sinclair. Getting his third goal in three matches and his third goal of the season. A superb assist there. It was a very good ball in by um, Hedges. And, uh, yeah, Sinclair gives us the lead. So, or was it Lansbury? No, it was Hedges. So, yeah, Hedges with his left foot playing it across rather than in the air just firing it across sort of a little bit in the air and then Sinclair hitting that in no chance for Martin in the MK Dons goal and we are rocketing to the top of the championship table that is lovely to see very very lovely indeed and uh, yeah let's just assertively say I'm pleased with how things are going keep it up let's just keep it up and uh, get a second goal and uh, make the game safe because we don't want to to concede a late equaliser to MK Dons that would be dropped points indeed they do have Adam Armstrong who um, well they have, they have an Armstrong I assume it's Adam Armstrong who obviously um, dominated us in our first ever game on this save when we played uh, Crawley it isn't, ok that might be a different Armstrong is it or not on the pitch but yeah I think it's, so it's a different um, Armstrong, David Armstrong maybe they're related so, but hopefully they won't have the Wigan beating genes in them I wonder how, maybe, uh, yeah, Adam Armstrong's probably playing for Newcastle at this point. Because uh, he must be about 23, 24, and um, he was, well, by what we saw, certainly capable. As Reese James whips the ball in, and Lansbury, Lansbury it's, it's gone in. <laughs> Pierce gets the goal. There's a bit of a goal mouth scramble, and Jason Pierce, our captain, gets his first goal of the season. Wanted to leave for Forrest, but I said, hell no, and he respected it, I think. But yeah, Lansbury firing it in. Why this camera angle? I've got to change it. It's going to go to close because um, people have been saying that's the best. Pro zone angle. Obviously, you can see the whole team, but I'm not going to use that. We're going to use close as apparently that is the best angle to use. Tumor. Looks like he's... Oh, did, I didn't realize it was so late in the game. Tumor's picked up an injury. We're going to bring on Heyman's. We're going to change it to attacking uh, forward, advanced forward, sorry, in a minute. We're going to bring Mitchell on for Sinclair. We're going to bring Dembele. No, we can't bring Dembele. We're going to bring... Nope. <laughs> um... Who can we bring off? We'll just bring off Ryan Hedges for D Dilverson. Just give all the young wingers a chance. And uh, when these are made, I will change it up to the attacking, uh, sorry, advance forward uh, tactic. So there we go. So now that will fit uh, Heyman's a bit better. And he is offside already. Furlong there. Oh, I didn't realise Furlong was a real player. Who does he actually play for at the start of the game? QPR. So yeah, maybe he is. Um, a good youth prospect in the re in real life as Lewington throws that and there we go it's full time another 2-0 win our third in a way, third in a row uh, and a third game in a row first got Sinclair to score so yeah we're in good form we've gone to the top of the league I am just going to continue a day just to see if Forrest slip up see if we can end the episode um, or end the week as a um, a as the top side in the division so let's just continue on see what happens Crystal passes Vernon completes move to somewhere. Um, okay, I guess it's an FA Cup replay weekend. Obviously, we're not involved until the third round now because you know we're in League One or whatever it is. Um, championship. Oh, I just couldn't think of a league we're in there. Um, okay, yeah, they slipped up. So yeah, West Brom beat Forest. Marco Matias getting the goal, and that means at the end of match day ten, we sit top of the table. Fantastic news, and yeah. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. We've got the win. We're on top of the table. What won't you like about it? If you have enjoyed it, hit that like button. Have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll try and answer them. Um, yeah, to be honest, I'll probably answer all comments. If, uh, and yeah, I don't know what I was going to say there. Um, and if you want to see more of this series and some more series when uh, the FM16 full version comes out, hit that subscribe button. I've been the FM Gaffer. I'll see you guys next time.